Hello y'all, this is Freshfire Wind Dragon, and welcome back to Frog Detective. Oh, I noticed in some of my previous videos that for some reason there was a bit of warbling. I'm not quite sure what caused that, but I suppose it might have something to do with my headphones. They're like less than a year old. I don't know why they would be messing up already. I'm going to continue where I left off. It turns out I missed a line, uh, a set of dialogue from the mouse, so I'm going to go back and do that before I talk to Larry. And that's the cave. I can see a cave inside. You have some questions? Questions, yes. The ghost. What can you tell me about the ghost? There's a ghost. Uh, aren't you a ghost scientist? Oh. Ghost scientist. Not toast scientist. That makes so much more sense. You thought you were a toast scientist yeah I only took the job because you know uh you know no I don't know <laughs> because you like toast yeah what have you been doing this whole time not thinking about ghosts, that's for sure. How spooky. So you haven't heard any weird noises? Oh, for sure. Heaps of weird noises. I don't think they're coming from a ghost, though. What makes you say that? I haven't seen anything floating around as if a ghost is holding it. What happens in the movies? I'll keep an eye out, though. Sure thing. Okay. Okay, I thought I heard something when I passed it earlier. And Koala is still in the ocean. Okay, about last time I figured out how to... Um... Oh, there we go. <laughs> I don't know if it's that great of a magnifying glass, but I figured out how to use it now. Hey buddy, here's your bomb stuff. More questions? Ask me them. The questions I mean. Explosion. Let's make some dynamite. Let's see. Wow, you got everything. Yep. Amazing! Shall we make some dynamite? Yes! Let's do it. There's Noodle. Nice, I'll cook up some dynamite and we can get exploding, baby. Well, this is it. Yep. Time to blow this cave up. Larry. Explosives are dangerous. Sorry. Time to carefully blow this cave up. Thanks. No worries. I'm nervous. Me too. And I'm not even coming into the cave. You're not? I don't like dark spaces. I'm a sunny boy, baby. <laughs> I'm not a baby. Sorry. Anyway, good luck. Look after yourself in there. Thanks, Larry. Let's do this. Ah! Well, the cave's now open.
I guess there's no going back now. Colorful mushrooms. Oh my gosh, it's so dark. Okay, interact with the ladder, please. Nope, I guess not. Oh gosh. Now I'm wondering if this, if Finley is stuck in here somewhere. Or I've got <gasps> Okay, I know I, I turned the game down I managed to turn the game down from last time, but I hear music. Somebody <gasps> I guess it is Finley. Who are you? <gasps> it is Finley! Oh, hi! <laughs> He's in attack mode. <laughs> Who are you? Are you a ghost? Ah, uh, what? I don't think so. <laughs> are you sure? Hmm. Yep. That's great. You're not wrong. So, uh, who are you? Finley. Who are you? The detective. Howdy. Wait a minute. Finley. I know that name. I'm pretty well known around local dance circles. That's not it. Oh! You're Martin's friend. Yeah. What are you doing down here? Practicing for the dance competition. It's tomorrow. How long have you been down here? Uh, hmm. Maybe two weeks. Jeez, like two weeks, I guess? I didn't even realize. I should have just recorded this last time, but I didn't realize I was playing through so much of the game at once. Haha. <laughs> Haha. <laughs> Wait. Two weeks? Have you seen any ghosts around? Uh, nah. Just me down here. Does Martin know you're here? I don't think so. He never comes down here. Really? Why not? He thinks every dark space is haunted. He reads all those ghost books and thinks there's a ghost in every crevice. It's good for me, though. Perfect spot to train. You've... Been dancing for two weeks straight? Ah, uh, yeah. Aren't you tired? I mean, I take naps. And these mushrooms are super nutritious. Gross. Mushrooms are disgusting. <laughs> That's your opinion, detective. No, it's a fact. Okay. Anyway, Martin's been super spooked out because he's been hearing weird noises all over the island. Any idea what the noises could be? Hmm. I've been listening to my radio while dancing. This cave has a lot of holes. The sound from your radio could easily travel up to the surface. I bet it sounds super warped, too. You know you've been trapped in here, right? The cave has been blocked off by rocks. Haha, <laughs> really? Uh huh. Yeah. That's so funny. Yeah, you could have died. Haha. Uh -huh. Then I'd actually be a ghost. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. Oh, it's gotten awkward. Uh anyway, we should head back up to the island. Yep. I should have looked at the radio first, I guess. Finley! Hi, Martin. Hi. Hey! 
Hi. What are you doing here? I was in the cave. You... What? How did you get in? It's been sealed up for weeks. Two weeks, to be exact. Wait a minute. As it turns out, there was never a ghost. It was Finley in the cave all along. She was so wrapped up in practicing, she didn't even notice the cave got caved in. The noises from her radio carried up to the surface and sounded super spooky. But... My ghost books! I was so sure it was a ghost! Nope, just me. It just goes to show, you should never trust books. <laughs> No! Always use the internet stuff. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah. Books are, without exception, factually inaccurate. Yep. Oh, hi! Hi, Grace! Hi there, apologies for the interruption. I hope you're enjoying the game. I won't keep you for long. While I agree with the detective on most issues, there are contexts in which books can be very useful and informative. It's important to check the validity of the author's sources and to check the book is up to date. Exactly. The internet can also be a useful place to find information. But make sure you're getting your information from a trusted site. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of the game. So, anyway, as I was saying, books have no place in our society. You jerk. Sure thing. That makes a lot of sense. Thank you for opening my eyes to the uselessness of books. You're very welcome. <laughs> Where did you learn how to be a detective? So, just to be clear, you were practicing for the competition this whole time? Yep. I'm in it to win it. I'm still not entirely sure what this dance competition involves. Dance competition. Best dancer wins. Yes. Who else is competing? Hmm. That's a good point. Just us, I guess. Don't forget Mo the Mouse. Who? One of the ghost scientists. The what? Don't worry about it. I think we need more entrance. I know a few hard-working friends who could use a good boogie. They won't be here tomorrow. Well, let's move the competition to today. Well, I won't bring the detective's friends in, but I guess, uh... I guess they're leaving then. Yeah! 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 <laughs> Before we dance, I just want to say... Thanks for solving the mystery, detective. No problem at all. You know, it looks like his crown got repaired. I had a lot of help. Larry figured out where the noises were coming from. Larry. Is that the lobster? The one who talks over everybody? Yep. Well, I'll give my thanks to Larry, too. So, shall we boogie? Let's go! Okay. Oh, Koala got out of the water! Bernie still has this new magnifying glass. The duck dude has a shell. I think he's Orbit. I'm not sure if Mo is actually breakdancing. I mean, I grew up in the 90s, but do I know what breakdancing is? Not really. Yeah, I just remember there being a spinning part where the person spins on their head. How's that breakdancing? I think we practiced enough. Wait. 
Wait a minute. Who's judging? I'll do it. Oh, I don't have to push anything. It's still a cutscene. So we got Martin. Noodle. Fresh air. Orbit. Bernie. <laughs> I think he's a beaver. I mean, hardly anybody has to tell, but Mo and Larry do. Bentley and Mo. Attention. <laughs> I'm gonna pick Mo. I wonder if there's different endings based on who pick. Oh, I got the trophy and a bunch of roses. Aww. All right, hanging out with Mystery Monkey though. They're all separately. <laughs> Fresh X is very, very tall. A little bit later. Oh. Oh my gosh, there's a new picture. Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. How may I help you? Detective! Supervisor! Great work on the Haunted Island Mystery. Thank you. I tried really hard. I don't think even Lobster Cop could have solved that one. I think you're underestimating Lobster Cop. You're probably right. Anyway, I saw you busted a groove at the dance competition. Yeah, where did you see that? It's on TV! Every channel! Every channel? An HD. Cool. I didn't even see any cameras. Well, you certainly impressed the public. My phone has been reading off a look. Mostly the calls are about your dancing. But I did get one call about a case. Have you heard of Warlock Woods? I have it. Well, there's something very strange going on there. They need our best investigator on the job. Lobster Cop wasn't av available? Nah. Can you handle another case, Detective? I can handle anything. Detecti the detective will return in. Case of the Invisible Wizard. Frogdetective.net. Oh, I guess this is the end. I didn't get to examine the new picture because I went to go answer the phone, but, um, 
Well, that was pretty fun. I figured it was just something like that. Finley didn't even know she was stuck down there. <laughs> but at least she was having fun. Alright, well, thank you all for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this too. Um, see you next time. This is Brushfire Wind Dragon signing off. <laughs>